Oh boy, I really do not like this issue. But yet again, as I reread it again, just to make sure, just to back up my points, there was a lot of things I find good, but also pretty bad at the same time. Okay, Odini is teaching Al Simmons to utilize his his powers and his magic, and he talks about how the car is flyable in air and all that hunky door shit. He also sees Terry's under trouble, so he's like, hey, don't mess up with my bro, buddy! And he just takes all the bullets, takes care of the fucking idiots, and pretty much kicks some ass. And then after that, he saves Terry, and everything seems like okay right now. And then after that whole hunky door shit, he talks to Odini, and oh, I, I really just care less of this fucking guy. I really, I mean, personally, to me, this guy is just annoying. I, I do not like him. I think he is a shitty character and boring. But uh, besides all that stuff, uh, we get to see a group of people at a stage uh, area, and Terry's there with his crew, and pretty much after all of that, uh, we see yours truly, Al Simmons, saving Terry again, and after that, uh, these people pretty much activate the bomb. And supposedly, this bomb can kill a Hellspawn, which I kind of find highly, highly, HIGHLY doubt that will ever work. But, Nudini pretty much sacrifices himself, supposedly, and condenses the bomb to be a regular bomb. And supposedly, he dies. And then after that, pretty much, the rest is history, the criminal's been taken care of, and supposedly there was a man that had a burned face. And we also go see the fucker that blow up Spawn's place in the previous issue, I didn't talk about that too much, but yeah, and he pretty much gets into his room or whatever and have a massive explosion, and he basically gets a letter from Spawn, and pretty much Spawn says, do that again, I will make that shit ten times bigger. And to not go any further than that, yeah, I'll just say that. He pretty much told him, you do that shit to me, I'll make that shit even ten times more bigger. <laughs> I laugh. I, I mean, this is one of those few good parts about the, the whole boring, worthless issue. This was just filler. And I, I, I get it, there's filler in major uh, characters, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, Avengers, but I, I really gotta say this, if this was the whole thing of having Spawn learns his powers and all that shit, he doesn't utilize his powers until the late 80s issues and the 90s and all the way up to the 100s. So for me, I pretty much look at this as filler time. That's all it was. A filler saga that really no one's gonna give a fuck about. And honestly, yeah, I just could care less. I just really could care less on this whole thing. And I'm gonna give it a 7 because I'm being nice, because there were a few things that I liked, and, like, number one, I like to see uh, Spawn as a superhero, saving Terry twice, and I like the whole thing on the ending part, where we see yours truly, uh, Al Simmons sent a bomb to that kid who pretty much try to blow him up in the previous issue. I find that very funny, but overall I just didn't care for this whole thing. I thought this was just filler, and it just really did not interest me, and I'm really being honest, and yeah, um, 
whatever you want to say to me, you could say I'm wrong, cool, more power to you, but I could care less. I really would. But, uh, yeah, any of you guys, stay tuned for my reviews on Spawn issue 21 and 22 sometime later this week. And, uh, later. Stay tuned for more Spawn reviews and more Spawn content later on. Because we're not just doing the main Spawn universe. We're going to do Dark Age and Medieval Times, along with the, uh, Angela miniseries and... We'll go from there. 